first stop at the bar. We're getting ready to rent. Oh my gosh. I told you it's gonna be blonde. Let's fly you away, just you and me. I need a little break from the city. It's been so long since we've been gone. Girl, I look just like I feel. Oh my gosh. So it is the, um, it's two days after Christmas and I'm home in Georgia and I have a slight sinus infection. Um, I'm taking my medicine and everything like that. And I blame myself. Like, I'm so disappointed in myself. I knew the sinus infection was coming because I wasn't drinking enough water. And for me, in the way my sinuses work, and the way my body works, I have to stay lubricated. Like I have to drink a lot of water throughout the day. Um, and as soon as I get like that little itchiness in my throat, then I know that I have not been drinking enough water. And that's like exactly what freaking happened. I um, went to bed one night and I call it the bug. Like I was scratching my throat all night and instead of me getting up to get some water, you know, put some water in my Stanley cup or something, I just tried to sleep through the night. And then like, because we've been having holiday parties and all this kind of stuff, you know, I've been drinking, you know, and then having like sweet beverages, sodas, stuff like that, um, coffees, lattes. Girl, I just been a whole mess these last few weeks and I am paying for it. My sinuses right now are literally kicking my behind. But I am excited. I know you can't really tell, especially because I know you could probably hear the stuffiness in my voice. I'm feeling a whole lot better today. Um, like even the skin around my nose, it doesn't look like too, too, too bad. Um, even though I've been blowing excessively. But anywho, anywho, I'm excited because today is the day I get my hair done. So right now it is 7.53 um, and I need to go downstairs and eat breakfast and do all those sorts of things because tonight I leave to go back home. I leave to go back to Texas. So yeah, I'm already showered. My face and stuff is already clean. I've already brushed my teeth. The only deal was I was trying to see if I wanted to do my makeup. I know I'm looking crazy, but just know Millie is about to get your girl together because that girl can do some hair. She can do some natural hair like it's nobody's business. As a matter of fact, if you're new to my um, channel and you haven't seen the first video when she cut my hair back in 22, I'm going to link that one down in the card. Well, down in the description box because that's where the relationship started and so millie has been doing my hair ever since so i kind of laid my clothes out to see what i wanted to wear i was going to put on this really cute little backless um set from or it's a it's their pants it's a bodysuit coming from amazon but it doesn't have a way for me to be able to use the restroom without taking the whole thing off so this will be comfortable to drive in because it's compression but um the way i have to use the restroom on the road baby yeah so what i think i'm going to do instead is put on this really cute um little two-piece set here that I got from Walmart. Um, I think I got it last year, but I've never actually worn it anywhere. So I'm going to put that on and some sneakers. Bae said he doesn't like it with the red hat, but I got to put something on my head um, until I get to the salon. You know how it is. When you're getting ready to get your hair done, baby, you just trying to get there. You not trying to tame what? Do what? I ain't touching my hair. I'm just trying to get there. So my food has come, but I'm having to eat really quickly because my appointment is at 9.30 and it's 8.55. And I still have to go back upstairs and get my luggage and check out. Yeah. Mm. They were out of shrimp. 
up for the shrimp and grits, so I just got it with salmon. It's very good, baby. Very flavorful. But I can tell I'm not gonna eat a lot because um, I just don't have appetite, you know. Perfect, thank you. Okay. to bring here hot tea or well, that's hot water and then I'm doing the <clears throat> green tea with pomegranate On Thursday night, and I had the, so where you? I had a fever, and I, uh, for three days I could not break. It was like got up to 103. Oh my god! It was like terrible. Like, so did you end up having to go to the hospital? Mm -hmm. I had to. Yeah. But talk to me. What we doing today? Okay, so we are doing a cut. Yes. Um, did you see any? Did you see those pictures I sent you? You color and everything. Yes. Yeah. I need to grab my phone. By the way, let me grab that. Okay. Because I was thinking of doing um, like the darker roots, like in that first picture, where you will see it, only because it's gonna grow out yes. between me being coming home for you to be able to yeah. do it. So. Yeah. Let's see which. Yeah. Let's see which one you think will look better on me. So that's part one. <laughs> I'm getting my hair colored. Oh my gosh! I've never had my hair colored before in my life. Do you see how thick it is? It's gotten so long and so thick. Yeah, I caught myself doing a oh, blowout so I could do. She's so funny. She's um, so, I call myself doing a blowout. <laughs> yeah, because I was blowout. I was gonna do a like a twist out for yeah. Christmas, baby. Yeah. It did happen. You're so funny. I wasn't feeling it. You I wasn't feeling good. I was sick. Doing it. I was okay. sick. Okay. So. I love this shape. Yes. Do you think I can accomplish that? Oh, for sure. Absolutely. Okay. Um, I love that shape. But what do you think? What it do looks, you like about that shape? It looks just. It looks very similar mm -hmm. to what I had before, mm -hmm. but it looks longer. It's bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I love that shape, and then um, I like that color. Yeah. What color is that? That's like a what people I feel like nowadays call the um, cowboy copper. Okay. Yeah. It's like a, do you see, do you see like maybe like reds or orange in this? Or I do. Okay. I see cool. orange in it because okay. I so, almost said ginger. Yeah. So, because I always ask people, my so what color do you see? Okay. <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, I would see reds, orange, and it, um, it looks like a ginger brown basically, but like nowadays people call it a cowboy copper. So. A cowboy copper. Yes. That's perfect because I live in Dallas. You so funny. Dallas Cowboys. Oh, please. <laughs> give yes, me some, some color. color. <laughs> yes, give me yes, some please. color. Yeah. So, um, I mean, it has grown so, so much. much. Yeah. Do you think, okay, so my first question is mm -hmm. based on you touching it and feeling it mm -hmm. what do you consider the the condition of my hair is fine that's fine okay i don't think there's anything wrong with it or anything i know it's time for you to get your split ends off for sure i can feel it yeah it looks like being probably like that much it's not like too too much okay yeah so that's good other than that like you're fine yeah okay. i would say that and you're still doing oplex and everything mm -hmm. do you, are you using have you been using k18 ever no you K recommended it but really good. that's what i wanted to do like once mm -hmm. you finish my hair oh, yeah. i wanted to make like a list yes of everything that, that i'm going to need yes, and wanted to care color. for it oh, yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, so yes 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 yes, yes. 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 we're gonna do colors today absolutely absolutely 
All right, so as you can see, my girl Millie is about to start on me. I love that she is so thorough as a master cosmetologist. As you heard, we went through and we kind of mapped out and planned out what was going to be my appointment today. She didn't just jump in on my head and try to rush me out the door. Although both of us are recovering from, you know, being sick. Millie had the flu and then, of course, I'm battling this sinus infection. But nevertheless, she just took her time and made sure she went through all of the details with me before we even started the process. So now what we're doing is basically taking off the split ends before we start the coloring process and definitely before we start like washing and styling the hair. We're taking off the dead ends. So let's just go through this appointment and see exactly how my hair is going to turn out for this new cut and color. Yeah. What's the worst case scenario? Plan out in your head how it's all gonna go So you think you got it covered But there's always something new that you discover you've not thought about You can never figure out Every possible outcome And you're so scared you'll get it wrong Have a good time but don't worry after Petrified will they think I'm awkward When your brain's wired for disaster Even good things leave a bitter taste Try to calm down, thoughts spinning faster Terrified, hide it with laughter When your brain's wired for disaster Even good things leave a bitter taste Even good things leave a bitter taste, yeah Even good things leave a bitter taste, yeah Even good things leave a bitter taste, yeah Even good things leave a bitter taste Something unexpected happens, you can't let it go Caught up in your own distractions You already know that you're gonna think about this for a while I got a mixture of multiple different colors and everything So okay. I'm debating if I want to do this combination right here Or this combination, so I just got them both <clears throat> Okay, so, um, so when you mix them, does it tell you what color it's gonna yes, be? Yeah, it okay. does, so like I already know this is like kind of like a more of like an orangey color This is like a, like a reddish brown color okay <clears throat> it's funny because when we, i think of orange i think of ice spice mm -hmm. yeah 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 <laughs> yeah okay okay yeah first stop at the ball we're getting ready to rinse oh my gosh i told you gonna be blonde you said that you said wait a minute the back ones are because it's thinner it's gonna be a little bit more blonde but i yeah. like it though oh wow you guys so silly so, because I have so much hair, we're having to do this in sections because yeah. we don't want, what is it called, overdeveloping? Yeah, overprocess. Yeah, we don't want to yeah. overprocess a section. So, mm -hmm. we still have to do all of the front, but so far we've done the middle and the back. Yep. And But we're only taking out the back. Yes. Because the middle's still processing. Yes. Yay! <coughs> that was like a genuine reaction because... You just said, wait a minute. <laughs> You said, oh, no, yeah. for real. That's like really, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, sis, so don't make me lie to you, but um, as she's rinsing my hair out, I don't know the exact products that she's using, but I do know that she is deep conditioning and detangling the hair so that as she's going through the entire hair, no section is dry or tangling up on itself, if that makes sense. I'm so grateful for this relationship that I have with her because my hair has come such a long way and my love for being natural has come such a long way. Like I said, if you didn't catch that first vlog that I did last year when I was sharing like my journey of going through a big chop and starting, not necessarily starting my natural hair journey again, but just re-falling in love with being a natural because I've been natural for about 15 years now. Go check that vlog out because you'll see just why I don't mind taking a flight coming all the way home to let this girl do my hair. She is legit just one of the best in the game, in my most humble opinion. And I'm grateful for her, especially because I know that she's not feeling her best or she's recovering. So she's building up her stamina and doing color is just that's like that's a lot of work. It takes a lot of stamina to do color. You know what I mean? So, yeah, we'll just keep going through so that I can show you the final results. But I am so far in love with this process, especially because I know that my hair is healthy and she's doing everything she can to protect it as we're going through this process.
say you ain't got the time I'm the last one you prioritize Peeping your IG pictures on my phone I won't spend another night at home Okay, I'ma just be on my way with my skin so pretty okay so we're getting ready to style and cut so let's get to that part so we are jumping into the styling and cutting phase of this part of the vlog i'm excited because my hair has grown out so long even though it's like hard to see it on curly hair because of shrinkage but my hair has grown out so much since the original cut that she did because my back was teeny my back was very very teeny the cut that she did which again is so gorgeous um i was on the fence about getting it cut that short again that's kind of what i wanted to do but i've also enjoyed the very the sheer volume let me say that of what my hair is now especially when i do twist outs so she's doing a wash and go here using i create hole and trepidora i will link the products down in the description box and then after that she's going to go through and do the shaping part which is always my favorite part because it allows my curls to fall just so gorgeous like and at the end of this video of course you're going to get to see what my wash and go looks like at the day four mark so you can see what i mean when i say she just bodies natural hair so can you take me on a date the simple things you do to make me stay now it's like you don't even try i used to wonder why but now i'm left with no more tears to cry i know She's all like, I'm ready for fall and winter. Yes. And of course, like with this type of color and stuff, it fades, it's lighter. It's not gonna get brighter, but it's gonna get lighter. Lighter. Yeah. Okay. So 
keep that in mind. But it's the color shampoo conditioner that I suggested. It's been uh -huh. really, really good and stuff. And then okay. should we get to go? Yeah. Mm. Okay, guys. So I am home in Dallas. I'm back home in Texas, of course. It's so crazy because I was about to say I'm back home in Georgia, but I'm home, home. Like, I'm home, home. I'm, as a matter of fact, girl, I got home like two day, two or three days ago. And I honestly, other than going out yesterday, I haven't been out at all. But I wanted to be able to officially close out this vlog and then show you my hair as much as I can, like in the light. Um, because it's getting, it's getting a little dark outside. So I'm hoping that you can see like the color. When I go out into the sunlight or when I'm outside, the hair color is just popping beyond measure. And I am just so ecstatic that I went ahead and made the decision to get my hair colored. So let's just talk about it because I definitely want to share you share with you all of the products um, that Millie recommended for me in order for me to protect my hair and then to protect this new color. So I definitely want to get into that. But first off, okay, you guys saw I was sick. Like I was sicker than I realized because this is a day for wash and go. So this isn't like I got my hair done yesterday. I actually got my hair done two days after Christmas and then I came home that same night back to Dallas. So I got home in the middle of the night, like mid morning. And then I pretty much slept for, you know, like a day. And then yesterday was the first time I was really feeling my best to get up and go out. So I went to my favorite place called Haywire. I like to go there to get lunch. And then I left there and got my nails done. And I told the girl as she was doing my nails, I was like, ma'am, I just feel like a woman again. Not because I haven't had my nails done. I've been doing it myself, like the press-ons and stuff. If you've been rocking with me, you've seen my little press-ons. But it just felt good to be pampered, you know. Bae picked out this color brown because he thought it would compliment this um cowboy copper well and i he did a good job i'm gonna give his i'm gonna give his credit he did good i'm gonna give him his credit these are the products that millie recommends that i use in order to just keep my hair very very strong and healthy now that it's color treated um so i got the damage shield by k18 um this is a damage shield shampoo it's ph protective and it also mentions that it has k18 peptides and that it's great for um color treated hair it preserves the color and then i went ahead also and got the damage shield k18 shampoo i'm oh, not good shampoo lord the conditioner um i do like using ola I'll still be using Olaplex number three. And then also I got the K18 Leave-In Molecular Repair Hair Mask. Um, you're supposed to use this after you wash, you know, right before you start styling the hair. So I had to pick that up. But again, you will see the color and the style and the twist outs and all of those things and how I'll be styling my hair going forward in all of my videos. So I thank you so very much for rocking out with me in this hair vlog. Guys, I hope that you have a happy and wonderful and safe new year. Um, going into 2024, may it be everything that you desire and so, so much more. Thank you so much for all Always sticking in here with your girl Jen and until I see you in my next vlog or video girl I will see you in my next vlog or video bye baby so can you take me on a date the simple things you do to make me stay now it's like you don't even try I used to wonder why but now I'm left with no more